Welcome to another edition of Getting Creative With dot dot dot. This week's theme is faces. Oop, that's my project in my hand. I'm going to hide that. And with us we have uh, Christopher, Sam, and Mackenzie of AADL. Um, so this week's theme, faces. What have you guys got this week? Christopher, I believe you are first. Well, um, so I was really inspired by this this Italian painter, uh, Archambaldo, and also by an album cover that my brother bought in the 70s. And um, maybe you'll recognize his style. So he, mm -hmm. he made faces and people's bodies with either fruits or fish or all kinds of different things. So I kind of tried to, I was inspired by what he did. And I have my favorite seed catalog. And <laughs> when I saw that, I thought it'd be perfect to cut up. So I went through a lot of different, uh, different things, different foods before I ended up with this. So it's kind of abstract, but uh, it was fun to put together. That's so, so cool. What plants yeah. do you have in there? Um, I have two different kinds of corn and I've got a, a hot pepper here and some peas here. This, these are all pumpkins and this is some kind of lettuce and I think that's a balloon flower and a, oh. some kind of daisy. It's a cool catalog. Wow. <laughs> <So>. Yeah. <laughs> that's so neat. Um, did you, so the album cover, I have to ask, like, do you, Will you share who that was? Sure. It was the, the, the band is called Kansas. Okay. And the album is called Mask, and it prominently features his artwork. It's a person all made up out of fish and seafood. And I always remember that album cover. So. <laughs> I love it. Um, were you going for a particular expression? Like, how would you describe that facial expression? Uh, bewilderment. <laughs> I, I actually did swap out a lot of different eyes and faces. And anyway, it was, it was kind of fun. I thought about keeping all the pieces together just to make a kind of, um, almost like a paper doll of f different faces that you could put together and swap in and swap out. Um, so... Anyway, it was really fun. Beautiful. And oh. it turned out looking pretty fantastic. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I suppose on my list next is me. So I um, have an overabundance of toilet paper rolls that I have saved because I always think I'm going to need the, them for something or other because I just tend to make a lot of little crafts and stuff out of them. So I went into my stores and I thought maybe I could do something with this. And months ago, I was looking through some artwork just online, what to do with toilet paper rolls in general. And I came on an artist who um, made faces, who made face sculptures out of toilet paper rolls. He, molded them and sculpted them in such a way that he sort of created like these old man faces. So I made a couple of those by moistening the toilet paper rolls and then manipulating them with my hands to create like little old man expressions. <laughs> and a lot of these, like I'll have to, to have them like link the um, artist below or something, but they were so expressive and I couldn't quite get them to do like the whole like surprised looks or anything like that. But I, I sort of just went with, I don't know, uh, curmudgeonly. That's the kind of for. So I made some crowns just because I like the crown aesthetic. I incorporate that in a lot of my artwork, but I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to display them possibly on little skewers. 
seems kind of dark, but also putting them on strings also seems dark. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I'll make more, and they'll be like a little face bouquet, but it's fun to make and fun to decorate, and I was really surprised at what I could do with just that medium. Is each face just one roll? Yeah. Yeah, so that wow. was... Manipulating them was sort of difficult because the glue uh, that was, or the adhesive that was holding everything together was kind of coming undone. Um, but I used that to my advantage. I gave them extra wrinkles when that happened. I just <laughs> back together. So. Did you paint them before or after they were? I painted them after. And as I was painting them with the acrylic paint and some Mod Podge, they became softer again as they you know, uh, absorb some liquid. So I ended up kind of manipulating them a little bit more as I was even doing it. And I was finishing this up yesterday and I had like all this paint on my hands and I was going to an on-site shift. My husband was just saying bye to me. He looked, gave me this like weird look. I'm like, what? Because you have like blue paint right here. So I had paint everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Mushing it and manipulating it and everything. It was just, it was a good hands-on, really tactile kind of craft, but Maybe you guys have suggestions on how I can display them because everything I choose is kind of hard. You could use a picture frame stand, like the little like V it V's out, and, it, and your frames can lean back against it. Mm -hmm. You could try something oh. like that. Yeah, it'll be kind of like displaying a mask in a way because they are kind of flat-ish mm -hmm. mm -hmm. on the side of the little shadow box. Neat. I like the skewer idea. <laughs> yeah. Faces. <laughs> um, yeah, so skewers, possibly shadow boxes. I'll see what I come up with and then have to update. <laughs> um, yeah, super fun. All right, so next we have Mackenzie, who is joining us for the first time this week. Yeah. To this whole Okay. So I have three of them, but I painted masks. Oh. oh. So maybe I can move them closer oh. so you can see it a little bit better. I'm not sure wow. how long. Oh my gosh. So I, I did it and I convinced my husband and my sister to do it too. So that was my mask and this one's my sister's. Wow. And my husband. Oh, wow. Nice. So, and his was inspired by the Majora's Mask from Legend of Zelda. Um, and mine's just, I painted my mask the way I wanted it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, well, my kind of inspiration was, I've been playing this game called Persona 5 a lot. And if you know anything about Persona 5, the, the Personas are the mask or the face you present to society and the thing that defends you from society so the power of the game is literally the main protagonist can swap out his personas his and he has different masks that he can uh, change his powers so that's where my faces came from <laughs> did you oh, use an airbrush right <laughs> no um i used so for mine um, I don't know how well you can see the glitter, but I used pink, regular pink paint, and then I brushed on glitter glue. So there's wow. a glitter glue, and that's how I used to hold the beads down as well. So there's even glitter across the pink and a little bit on the, sp the spokes, a different kind of glitter glue. So I had pink on the bottom on the pink and then blue up here. And then I had a little bit of glitter paint that's about it. <laughs> wow. You can paint glitter glue and it actually works out really nicely. <laughs> wow. Um, it reminds me of um, like card detail shops, the paint shops. That you it just looks like it was chromed over by somebody who works on car bodies. <laughs> yeah, I used, um, they're, they're, they sell, at German Fabrics, they sell metallic paint. Mm -hmm. So I used a blue metallic, so that's where the sheen comes from, for the blue portion. Okay. And the sheen on the pink portion is probably the glitter glue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now is that acrylic that you used? Um, I grabbed what was on the shelf, so I'm assuming it's acrylic. Mm -hmm. 
Cool. That's awesome. All right. Well then, next right. up we have, last but not least, Sam. What did you do for your faces? So with faces, I was thinking literal rock faces. Uh -huh. <laughs> So I thought, why not make some? So I found some rocks <laughs> and painted them with acrylic paint. And then I used um, polymer clay to make the little uh, faces. <laughs> and then they have a layer of uh, Mod Podge on them too. So I think they should be okay to sit outside and actually be little garden friends. <laughs> It's great. They're really cute. Yeah. Love them. And you just made the three of them? Yeah, I made the three of them. Yep. That's so fun. Yeah. Um, what kind of clay do you use for the teeth, did you say? Um, it was all just polymer okay. clay, sculpey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I made that um and then baked them and glued them on so <laughs> Yeah, and any chance I get to use googly eyes, I will take it. <laughs> so did you get, was it hard to get the clay to stick to the rock? Um, no, I, I used the tacky glue after the clay was already oh. baked and hardened. So I yeah, see. It's okay. pretty stuck on there. I see. Yep. That's like the rock painting craft of my dreams. I've been seeing more and more of them around my neighborhood lately because people just kind of want to leave little, mm -hmm. little uh, delightful things for others to find since we're all in quarantine. Um, right. But yeah, so you're saying, are you Yeah, that's what... What's that? Um, that's what I had originally planned on painting the faces or using um, paint markers, mm -hmm. but I had the Sculpey sitting out for another project I was working on, I thought could try to do it that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Um, are you planning on putting them out in the garden? Would you make more and possibly put them out? And like, I found some in like the knots of trees in the neighborhood. Where oh, really? That's <laughs> fun. <laughs> yeah. I Maybe. I do plan on putting these three outside. <laughs> Cute. So what was yeah. the inspiration behind the aesthetic for each one did you have something in mind or was it just sort of like playtime it was just yeah just having fun with it yeah. <laughs> making characters i love it nice well then this has been wonderful you guys thank you for sharing all of your different ideas i love it it's like you made something to put on a face uh, bases, and we incorporated the use of the, um, the a different definition of the word face, or the way it's applied differently in a, in a different sort of um, conversation in geology, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, well, thank you very much for coming on and sharing all of your creations with us, as always. I think next week's theme is sticks. Six mm -hmm. kind craft sticks, uh, sticks and stones may break my bones. <laughs> Whatever it is that you choose to uh, to use in your interpretation, um, I love hearing and seeing and talking to people at the library who are very creative about their processes. And um, thank you for riffing on my arbitrarily selected themes, as always. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fun. It's really fun. Yeah. All right, y'all. Um, well, then with that, I will go ahead and sign us off. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Bye.